Hello guys, so you're on the Good Gadget channels, you're welcome. And today I will tell you the story about nice and shiny laptop HP Spectre X360. So I bought this laptop in the online flea market here in Spain just for 20 euros. And I was afraid it is in horrible condition. It, uh, the seller said that the laptop doesn't charge, doesn't turn on, so let's check. I just uh, got it, uh, the courier just carried it to me. So now we have to check the general condition of this poor laptop. So let's see. And it's more or less good yeah so we have the working i i think so keyboard so we have a touch screen without any cracks without the black points or something like that so let's see the bottom and we s i see yeah so this is a model if you can see it because the camera doesn't focus well and from the sides it's in good condition but here yeah so i think the laptop was dropped by previous owner and maybe uh, it was the cause of the current problem that it doesn't charging up and doesn't doesn't turn on so let's open it and see what's it its condition so let's check it further we just need to open it to be sure that inside all good or not good so i will use my electric screwdriver to remove the screws which left and let's try to open it just now with fingers it's complicated and not possible so let's use the plastic spudger so yeah so let's open okay and now I see the problem <laughs> from the first glance if you can see now I will show you so guys let's check the condition of this poor motherboard so do you think something strange if not, I will show you. So here we have just in the center of the sticker from HP. And when we removed it, we see the Barnet motherboard. So it could be a big problem in case it affected the processor. So it, I think it was shorted main power rail, rail. And if so, so the processor could be affected but let's see it under my microscope it's pretty good and now i see that the problem is could be not so critical as i thought before so yeah of course this part is burned out but as i see it's just one element so i think it was maybe diode maybe a capacitor or resistor so later i will check it uh, with my board view and now we have a little bit burned surface of motherboard but it's not completely burned so some traces i think all traces actually are in the good condition except this one if it's just a capacitor we can even not replace it but of course we are good specialists so I will replace it but I as I know some of um, specialists uh, doesn't uh, replace capacitors which were burned out because it's it is more or less more or less not necessary so here we have some metallic things metallic dust metallic parts so let's remove them and I then I will check with my multimeter the general condition of my motherboard uh, I think I hope so that it's it is in a good condition but anyway we need the f further further uh, investigation 
So now let's remove this metallic thing and the rest as I see this is a, one of the uh, ends of capacitor and let's scratch it a little bit at the surface to be sure that there is no hole in it I mean in a motherboard as I see not so it, it is guys it's in a good condition so I think 80% that all good if the processor uh, weren't, weren't affected so we have some dirt some and other parts so let's see what we can do let's clean it a little, little a little bit with alcohol so for now just with uh, my brush and as you see all good yeah some more from this from on this place so here is nothing and I think I just clean it up that 19 percent of this barnet takes to light So let's check again to be sure 100 persons that beneath of this barn I think uh, there are no metallic metallic comp metallic components or something like that so I hope I can give a new life uh, to this uh, laptop because this problem is looks more or less not important not critical and now I'm making the measurements and they're all good so no shorts uh, here the motherboard the components the results are more or less good so these components is like responsible for processor work these three uh, small things so I think the processor logic the uh, graphic itself it's not dedicated internal and the processor itself so it's all good so like 50 ohms it's better than I expected so in case the processor barnet the measurements uh, will show something like one ohm or maybe less but not I think we have the good situation with processor we are lucky so all measurements show that all good so I'm happy <laughs> now let's check some more components some MOSFETs this is critical so if some some of them are barnet shorted so we should replace it but as I see now all good and I made a small research and I found that for this model this region of motherboard is very problematic so this is critical like uh, almost all problems with HP Spectra X 
360. So the, the problem is with its capacitors in this region. So I will show you some of things I uh, just found. Let's finish. Let me finish uh, my measurements and I will show you. So during uh, this research, I also found a board view image. Uh, so this, uh, this could show what the component is. Of course, I have a schematic, but it's uh, like faster to use a board view in some cases, not in all cases, but in some cases. And a few seconds, I will show you the. So this is a name of motherboard, it's model. So if you have something like this, you can check my video and know what the problem is. And here with yellow light, uh, you see the capacitor. So this is just capacitor, nothing important. I would like to <coughs> replace it, but in some cases the uh, tech specs didn't replace it. And this I, sh I show you the problem from another forums, another website. So I found this photo. So the problem exactly, almost exactly the same in this region. So it's one or second, the first one or the second uh, capacitors. And that's all with, with this thing. All I found then is another capacitor on the main power line and I think this poor thing caused the whole problem so you saw the uh, evaporation of alcohol I added and with connection of laboratory uh, power it, it was just dry and now I will remove this another capacitor and let's check So the measurements shows me that it it shorted. It's like 17 ohms, but should be mega ohms or kilo ohms. I think mega ohms, but it shows me only 17 ohms. So I should remove this capacitor. So here we have the measurements that it shorted, and I should remove it because I think this is a main cause of problem. I think when this poor laptop was dropped, uh, you saw the deformation of its case, yeah, aluminum case. So I think uh, this is a capacitor uh, which is nearest to the place it was dropped, to the corner. And uh, I think this is a problem. So the laptop was dropped, the capacitor has cracked, uh, the capacitor uh, was shorted and it caused the short of another capacitor that was actually burned out. So uh, what, sh what we have now, I removed that another capacitor and now I can expect that if processor are good and there are no uh, problems at all with this motherboard, I can check if it will start up. So just let's connect the flexes, the cables. Let's connect, connect all we need to check if the laptop will start. So I'm, I'm sure for I think 80% that it will start. And also 20% left for some some problems that I didn't found. So the battery, let's connect the battery. It was, you know, the bad things, the bad thing, it was connected. Uh, when I opened the laptop, so the battery was connected. So uh, the shortage of motherboard was bad because of connected charged battery. So maybe uh, the first capacitor has burned it out just because of uh, connected battery. 
Okay. So let's check. So this is the name of battery and let's connect all the cables we need to connect. So I think this obviously this is a speakers, this cable and let's see if all this will work. You see uh, this lab has, uh, laptop has only 4 uh, gigabyte of RAM. It's it's not external and the laptop has no SSD or internal memory so I should connect the SSD to get the Windows to install the Windows or Linux okay so it seems to be good all flexes all cables Let's open the laptop. So you see, nice and shiny. So it's in, in a good condition, despite the problem with its case. And other parts are good. So this is screen in good condition, all good. And what I will do now is I will connect the charger. I have the charger and we should connect it here is a charger and the moment of trust will this nice and shiny laptop work or not and yes we have the light the white light on the indicator that shows the charging process so the white light and let's see if the laptop will turn on That's the main thing and yes yes so we have and oh yes and the screen works too so the laptop works all good <coughs> with its processor all good with all things and uh, over more uh, the screen works too so now you know what to do with your laptop with your H HP Spectre X 360 if it doesn't charge doesn't turn on so you know what to do so the 90 80 percent of probability that something wrong with its capacitors so i look uh, look at for additional information and i found information uh, from forums websites uh, telegram that in 80 percent uh, those capacitors just burn it out in the region I showed you at the motherboard so if you like this please subscribe the video please this is very important so please subscribe to my channel ring the bell uh, my, push the like button and see you in the next video thanks